Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and today's lecture is on while loops. A very important lecture. You're going to use while loops uh, quite a bit, so it's important you understand them. And we've got a little program set up here, and uh, let me close it here. And I'm going to write a while loop. Now, a while loop. Uh, there are three types of loops. There's a while, there's a do, and there's a for loop. Uh, both the while loop and the for loop are pre-test loops, which means that it's going to test the loop before it goes into it. It may not run at least once. It may not run any time, depending upon the test. So we set up our, our test, and we say while number is less than 100, and you're going to say, well, why that? Well, I'm, I'm just writing a program. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to show you the features of the loop itself. Now, what's going to happen is the program is going to execute sequentially. It's going to down, come down here and uh, declare a number, initialize it to zero, and it's going to ask the question: While number is less than 100, well, is number less than 100? It is because it's zero. Then it will actually start working in the loop. If for some reason I had gone up here and I had initialized this to 101. And it would have come down here and said, is number less than 100? No, it's not. It would have bypassed it and gone down and just stopped the program, said end of program, and quit. So it's a pretest loop. Let me change this back to zero. Now I'm going to write a little program. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to illustrate uh, a, a couple of other things, too. A continue and a break and how they work. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say enter in a number. A number colon put a space there so we'll format I'm going to read in the number I'm going to put it into the variable itself and I'm going to ask a question if okay number is equal to zero notice I put the two equal signs there then I want to uh, continue now continue what it does is it says um, I'm done with this iteration of the loop. Let's go to the next one. In other words, it will stop whatever it's doing. It'll come down here to the uh, right bracket and then pop up here and do the test. It will ignore all the code that occurs afterwards, all of it. It'll go right to the end. Else, else if number is less than zero. In other words, if it's a negative number, I want to break. Break is different than the continue. Break says, I'm done with the loop entirely, stop it. And it will go down here to the right bracket and then execute the next statement afterwards, which in this case is the end of program uh, print. Just to show you that these two things work, I'm going to say uh, C out. Um, you entered in the number. Number. I'll just do uh, <coughs> another C out. I am uh, going to add one to it. Why? Well, no reason. And here I'm going to say number plus plus. Okay. There's our program. Well, and again, it doesn't do anything important. I'm just showing you how. Uh, how while loop works and come of the features of it. Well, let's run it and uh, let's uh, build it here. Build it first. Build solution. Be sure to build and not compile. Uh, compile doesn't include all the libraries. One succeeded. We're okay. We're going to debug. Start without debugging. <clears throat> Enter in a number. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four. And it's working exactly like we thought it would. We enter in a number. It's not less than 100. It's going to continue. Um, it's not zero, so it's uh, going to go to the next statement, and it's not less than zero, so it's not going to stop the loop entirely. Well, let's enter zero one time, and zero. Nothing happened. In other words, let me move this to the side and show you what happens. When I entered zero, it says uh, continue. It ignored all of this code that comes afterwards, goes down to the right bracket, and goes back up to the loop. So none of that gets printed out. Let me do it again. There's zero. Seven. Now, if I were to enter 99 right here, what would happen? Well, if I were to enter 99, it would add 1 to it. It would go back up to the top, and it would say, oh, it's not less than 100, and it would stop the loop. The other way to stop the loop is a break statement. I'm going to enter a negative 1. If I enter in a negative 1, 
I go to end of program, it does the break statement. The break statement says stop the while loop entirely. All right. Well, this is our while loop. It is a pretest loop. Uh, things to remember is that it tests the loop before it gets into it. Uh, we always have these brackets around to it. Just like a for loop, you can leave those off if there's just one statement afterwards, but I never do that. I always put the brackets in there, even if it's one statement. And um, uh, the continue statement says go to the next iteration of the loop. In other words, go to the bottom, go back up and do the test. The break stops the loop entirely. And it will continue to do this while this is true. So write this little, uh, write this little program. Uh, play with a little bit. You'll find the while loop very, very handy. It can go anywhere inside your program. Uh, you'll use it quite a bit and you will see it on a test. Very good.